hi guys and welcome to the channel tropical discovery uh, in today's video we will be talking about the co2 drop checker now in one of the previous videos which we have done i have uh, explained to you how we can create a diy co2 system for your aquariums at home now once we have created the co2 system obviously there will be a lot of co2 that's given out in the water so to measure the CO2 in our aquarium water guys, we need a drop checker. As you can see in the image over here, I have my drop checker which is set up in my aquarium. For the demonstration purpose, we will be using the Dymax brand which I have purchased. This is a very good brand. I have purchased many things of this brand and they are quite good in the market. It's cheap, it's affordable as well. On the left, as you can see, we have the crystal tube uh, which will hold the liquid and on the right, we have the liquid solution itself uh, which will give us the indication of the amount of CO2 that's there in the aquarium. Now, it's a very simple process to set this up. I'll open the box and show it to you. So on the left, we have the tube, the crystal tube. And here we have the Dimax indicator. It's a 10 ml bottle, which should be sufficient for quite some time. Now on the box, we have some instructions. So make sure whatever brand you buy, you read the instructions because different liquids, they will have uh, you know different instructions, different amounts to be uh, put in the tube, depending on the size of the tube that you buy. So make sure guys you read the instructions carefully you will have a color chart over here as well to understand on the box uh, now to get the exact measurement of the liquid i'm just using a basic syringe as you see over here you can use the same as well uh, now in the crystal tube i have uh, put over here five drops as per the instructions i have put five drops of the indicator liquid and i have set it up to going ahead i am using the same syringe and i'm going to take some aquarium water which is around one and a half ml of aquarium water and i'm going to fill the same inside the tube so you see once the water has gone inside it has changed color and it is showing me the reading already so once you have this set up you can then go ahead and place this drop checker inside your aquarium make sure you are placing this drop checker at least 10 centimeter below the water level and place it at the far end which is right opposite to your co2 diffuser so the place where your gas is getting diffused make sure you don't place it close to it put it on the far end this will give you accurate readings here is a simple chart that i have prepared with blue green and yellow which tells you if the co2 is insufficient sufficient or if it's excess you need to monitor your tank at all times guys excess amount of co2 in your tank can be really harmful for your fish because they will then be gasping for air they will not be able to breathe well in the tank and unfortunately you will end up with a lot of dead livestock in your tanks co2 is a very good additive to your tank guys so i would highly encourage everyone you know to set up their own co2 systems especially if you have planted tanks plants they definitely require co2 and with the right amount of co2 they can really give you spectacular views and results in your tank so make sure you do try out if you have tried out the diy or if you're going to purchase a full system do do it as you can and as it suits you uh, but make sure you always keep a check on the level of the co2 that's in your tank so that's all for today's video guys and if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful and informative then please make sure that you like this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and please hit the bell notification so you can be notified about upcoming videos